Excuse me? What is going on? Why are they in such a good mood? After they've been attacked by those monsters last episode? Thank god. At least one of them. Still thinking about what happened. Uh, the other two seem to be under some kind of spell. Uncle got all the books in the world to read. She got all the dresses in the world to wear. Is that an alarm? Nobody seems alarmed. It's dinner time. I'm glad you all were able to freshen up before the time of the lunch, pal. Nothing to be alarmed about. See? Well, it's lunch, not dinner. But it's the food bell. We were expected. She made it very clear that I was to look out for you. Treat you like family while you wait. Is that the Samuel Braithwaite you've been speaking of? That is a distant cousin of Sam. <laughs> <laughs> when have you ever showed up to a white man's house uninvited and he didn't try to get you out in 2.5 seconds? They want to keep us here. I don't want to find out why. Why uninvited? I thought they were invited. Or at least expected? What's wrong with you? First you parading Take around here like it. you on a... Oh, thank you. Nothing's wrong with eating, dude. Relax. How can you even eat after what happened last night? Because I... Last night? Now that you say it, there was something, right? I crashed the car. We were attacked. By the sheriff? By monsters. Eight foot tall beasts with razor sharp teeth that can bite a man's head off. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Uncle George? I am afraid you've lost it, son. <laughs> you said the car was crashed. It was. Just can't be Woody. My camera's in the front seat. And the back window's busted out. <clears throat> <laughs> Where did he come from? <laughs> and what the hell is even going on? So is this just happening in his head? The little boy with his adventure stories? That's rude, woman. Just take photos of random people? None of this makes any sense. Why can't either of us remember anything that happened? I'm trying. But this monster business? A lot of soldiers came back from the war with shell shock. What if whatever. This isn't shell shock. How did you make it back so quick, dude? <laughs> Are you the sheriff? What makes you think that? That's the jail, right? And it's the only stone building I've seen in the entire village. Why would that be the jail? Where did that assumption come from? The inside of that silo's got a stone foundation, which means a dungeon-like basement. And all that barking. You don't even know that dude. What the fuck? Like every stone building has a dungeon. We're gonna have to make a quick <laughs> getaway. <laughs> be gone before they... Why is it dark all of a sudden? Why are you in the middle of the woods? What is it? A recollection, something your mother told me years ago. She told me her great ancestor was a slave named Hannah, and that she escaped her master's house after a fire. Huh, and you just so happen to remember that now. Why? What triggered that memory? These nice green trees? <laughs> Hmm, so they don't own these monsters, huh? They just have these whistles that scare them away? Why are we covered in dirt? It happened again, didn't it? Shut it! Let's move! The hell? Is the whistle also erasing their memory? <laughs> I guess that's no big deal, huh? Man, that's a hot mess so far. <laughs> what are the odds? Well, maybe every book would have opened it. <laughs> you must have so many questions. Yeah. <laughs> spell wasn't specifically for your companions, rather anyone who encounters our little guard dogs and lives to tell about it. Oh, so 
They do belong to them. They are their guard dogs. Remove the spell. I'll let him uncle. Done. <laughs> What kind of magic bullshit is this? Pull harder! <laughs> Thanks for the advice. So, their little guard dogs are born by cows. What the fuck? Is there any point to that? <laughs> or did they just come up with that for weirdness sake? I remember now. I know. I I should have believed you. We gotta get out of here. Look, they got us trapped, okay? Come sit with me. Wait, so they're trapped here now? What? And how did he get out of that room? Jaya, I don't want to hurt you! What, you know her? Is that the woman he met in... Where was it, Korea? Is all of this a dream, or, or is that just another spell? How we used to drink soda pop on your porch and play that what if game. What if you could go anywhere in the world? Hold up a minute. Isn't that Rachel from Justified? I only recognize the voice. Uh, uh, take, wait. Oh, that's not the real take. Mm. Now it makes sense. <laughs> wow, nice CGI. <laughs> Why do they have to make it so confusing? What the fuck? <laughs> They're this evening's entertainment? <laughs> The shit. On the precipice of great progress, I honor him by giving of myself. <laughs> Don't need that. He was just taking a look at it. <laughs> Bunch of dumb animals. Don't know enough to stop fighting once they're already snared. Hmm? My dog I guess Letty nice will save them. <laughs> Wow, shocker. <laughs> Why exactly did they even suspect this place? <laughs> that there's something special to it. <laughs> Is that dead escaping? <laughs> How? Hey, Montrose. The fuck? Why would they just stand right there where he came out? They're obsessed with figuring out the spell for immortality. A failed attempt is what burned the original lodge, killing everyone inside. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Had another barrier. Also, why did they take that silver car? And not Woody. <laughs> Their own car. We don't need bigger now. And they just arrived 10 seconds after they crashed? Were they waiting? Around the corner or what? Stay, stay awake, stay awake, stay awake, please. Please, 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 please. Ah, they will bring her back. <laughs> if it's even real. I will give you a choice of who else survives your error in judgment. Wait! I thought that was a cliffhanger, but it wasn't. It's still going. Oh, she's still alive, huh, Letty? Otherwise, they wouldn't have put her on the couch <laughs> with a blanket. There you go. Mm. How about you take a shower? Or bath. <laughs> we have a poem here. It's called Whitey on the Moon. It was inspired by some whiteys on the moon. So I want to give credit where credit is due. <laughs> what the fuck is this recording now? 
Oh, thanks for the black history lesson once again. Oh, fuck you. No need for that. At all. No hot water, no toilets, no lights, but Whitey's on the moon. I wonder why he's up in me. We really should have sent some doggies to the moon too. You're right about that. <laughs> <laughs> Richard gone wrong or what? <laughs> Christ's sake. <laughs> and just like that we're done with this place, huh? Burnt it down in only one episode. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Uncle's dead, if I see this right. Called it in the first episode. <laughs> in a wipe your slate clean. Take me to your river. <laughs> ah. Holy fuck. <laughs> Who signed off on this project? After episode 1 they completely gave up on storytelling. There's hardly any narration here. We just jump from plot point to weird shit to plot point to weird shit to weird shit to weird shit to plot point. Fuck me. They didn't give the story any time to breathe. Like right after episode 1 they didn't spend any time exploring this place. They jumped right to some amnesia spell and within 2 minutes they already figured out they were under a spell and 20 more minutes later the amnesia problem was already resolved. Just like this entire white cult has come and gone within one single episode. <laughs> Why? Needless to say that this is the end of the line for me because the people involved have no idea how to write a story. 